guys welcome to a wednesday stream instead of tuesday stream so we're back uh, to business we're back to doing normal stuff again no more cake baking it's uh time to go back and do some more sculpting instead hello there happy how are you doing Let's see i think uh, everything should be fine with the mic and uh, the sound. I did some sound check, but since I rearranged all my equipment to uh, be <laughs> useful in the kitchen when I was streaming, um, it might be a bit different than the regular setup. So if you feel like you can't hear me or hear the music, let me know. And I will see if I can adjust a little bit. Hello there, Aslan! Kim with hair so long, she looked like an elf. <laughs> it's starting to get very long. Indeed. Um, that's what you get when you're not cutting your hair, right? Hello there, Ras, and hello there, Kramer. When I start bow training? <laughs> What do you know? Maybe I already have some bow training. Ras, you think it's quiet? The music or uh, my mic? The music might be quiet because it's very mellow though. All that Zelda play <laughs> playing makes you natural. <laughs> maybe it does, maybe. VR bows. I can see if I can up the gain a little bit on the microphone and see if that will help anything. So it's on maximum gain now. Well, well, well. I can can't, as usual, remember what I was doing the last time. Um, obviously. <laughs> I should remember, but a week in between every time I'm working on it makes it... Yeah, hard to remember with everything else going on in life. So... Since it seems like I left the scene with this one, I'm just gonna assume that I was working on this part last time. So let's have a look-see, see if uh, what I've done. Horse saddle, but uh, <laughs> must be all that cake. Well, you here for the sweet 3D? Well, that's, uh, I hope you will see some sweet 3D. I was hoping that um, I had managed to set everything up as it was before with uh, the mic, but perhaps not. Hello there, Varax! <laughs> Sup, boss? How is she doing today? Hello there, Mayor. How are you doing? I am doing uh, quite well. I have been eating cake now every day. Um, feel feel like I should get in some uh, more exercise. <laughs> I haven't been I haven't been moving around a lot, and then I had cake on Saturday. I had cake on Sunday, and I had cake Monday. I had cake yesterday and I had some today as well. So that's like five days in a row eating cake. I guess life could be worse, huh? Okay. 
can't really see any close up on this part here, but it should definitely be longer. Something there. <laughs> it's a vegan cake, so it's actually like a hundred calories. Nah, nah, Barax, that's not how it works. If it would be dates and avocado, it might have been the case. But then again, you know, avocado is also a lot of calories. That amount of oil we put in that cake, that's, uh, yeah, that was a lot. Hello, dragonfly. How are you doing? Nah, but cake has been good. That's my excuse for celebrating birthdays to begin with, to be able to eat uh, cake. <laughs> you were making a joke. It definitely had calories with oil in the cacao. Well, joke or no joke, there are a lot of people who assume that just because it's vegan, it's going to be um, healthy, which I can guarantee you that it's not going to be just because it's vegan. Have you given us a skin over molly nuts? You reminded me now though that next time in I'm in the shop that I should uh, get some uh, macadamia nuts. I really love those nuts. Like they're fun to chew on. That's why I like them. It's like they also taste better than most other nuts. I would say. Macadamia nuts are expensive, yeah, Sven, they are. I think all nuts are expensive. Abrax is asking what the favorite type of nuts people have here in chat. Dragonfly also seems to think uh, macadamia nuts are great. Though, is that your favorite one or do you have another one? Uh, 
Abrax Walnuts are your favorite? Walnuts go along with kind of like pretty much everything. It's like really useful useful in uh, cooking and so on. Like I don't think macadamia nuts actually work in that many dishes. So it's just nice to eat, but walnuts they have more uh, use cases. <laughs> Same with cashew, it feels like you can cook a lot of things with them. Brassel and cashew, anything that is chili and sour cream roasted nuts really? Aslan? So it needs to be chili and sour cream. Does it really taste like nuts still then? Or did you just want to have, uh, have everything on it uh, because you like chili and sour cream? Dragonfly, you don't have any favorites? You like all kinds? But pistachios are also nice. Ras, Brazilian nuts are great, but you can only eat about four of them a day. I don't know what a Brazilian nut is, actually. Paranuts? Oh, the big one, those really big, um, like they're very long uh, as well. Have I eaten them? I have seen them. I don't think I've actually, or have I? I don't know. I'm not sure. Paranuts are usually called Bra Bra Brazil nuts. Brazilian or Brazil. Um, yeah, okay. Oh, I've heard paranuts, but not the other one. The mirror you would go with pine nuts. Pine nuts are <laughs> nice in salads, I would say. Oh, they're super high in magnesium. One of them is like 120 daily value. 120% even. Hmm, okay. Uh, if I'm ever low then on uh, magnesium, I will. I guess I know what to eat then. Paranuts you can only harvest in the rainforest and can, can't be grown on a farm. Isn't that the case with a lot of nuts though? Ras, you go with the mixed nut container and consume all in your path. <laughs> uh, that sounds... Uh, that sounds great as well though. I mean, most nuts are good. I don't think there is any of the nuts that I don't like, you know, like to eat or appreciate. It's more like favorite ones. I, I guess you're, I'm more keen to eat. Or is there any that I don't like that much? I guess my least favorite if if i uh, if i can have a least favorite which i think i do that would be cashew actually that is the one that i would be eating last or first just to get rid of i guess if i have a mixed bag thank you for the follow mr craver don't like nuts they are annoying what 
Yeah, I have to say the same, Avarax. What? I guess we do have a um, oddball out from the chat then. Thank you for the follow. <laughs> Ras is asking Mr. Green, what's your, what are your thoughts on Sam? I hate it. <laughs> oh, we have a lot of followers right now. Thank you for the follow. It's like bling, bling. <laughs> Thank you for the follow. Suddenly we had a surge of people jumping in. Welcome every newcomer. We're talking about nuts. Favorite nuts. Yes, uh, we don't really have to do that much with this uh, part here, since it will be so very, very small. Damir, a question that is not about nuts here. <laughs> Um, if I consider making mentorship program for beginner 3D artists, I have been considering um, doing mentorship through uh, Patreon since I've seen a lot of people do that with their Patreon. Though I have yet to figure out some of the details because beginner mentorship, I would say that if you're a pure beginner and you don't know 3d it might be better just to check out some free tutorials and stuff before actually having someone mentor you so i've been thinking more about like people who have, who have uh, basic skills and want to like i guess take their skills further so to say <laughs> um but that doesn't rule out like you know, helping other people who who are beginners as well. It's just, I think it would be more beneficial for people who take take mentorships that they do have some that they know some basics, I guess, if that makes sense. left to do on this one that is not like pattern pattern and like leathery details And of course, like <laughs> the brand of the bag. So I guess if we look at this side, it's more jaggedy. It feels more organic. I don't think I've added anything on this side here like I have on the other one actually so maybe we should 
do something like that first. Thank you for the follow! Oh, Mr. Kramer is going, uh, why he doesn't like nuts, I guess. They are annoying to peel often, taste nothing and get stuck on the gum. You don't see the benefit except nutrition, which doesn't make me like them. <laughs> okay, well, fair, fair point. If they are pre-peeled and don't stick to your gum, do you, would you say that you would like the taste of them then or maybe it's just beyond the point? <laughs> Hello Daniem! How are you doing? Even if you're coaching a full beginner, you can structure mentorship like review session and allocate a set amount of time to go over e even early work and recommend next step. <laughs> you good, you just had some ramen. Can you send some ramen to me as well? That sounds tasty. But only if it's like, you know, ramen from a shop and not that instant, instant ramen. I don't want to have that. <clears throat> so for mentorship, like... Okay, so we'll see, see if you guys uh, like the ideas I'm going to say now. So I've been uh, doing some research on stuff and what I've seen to be popular and also been talking to some people here in chat as well about it is that group sessions seem to be a thing. Like that would be then an option to, you know, have mentoring in a group um, together. And another option would also then be to have like uh, individual mentorship, like one-on-ones. And most of these things wouldn't be then me teaching you a tool or a software, because honestly, there are a lot of tutorials out there doing that. More like you working on a project um, from start to finish, and I will be there helping out and give advice on the way. That's kind of what I've seen that people might, you know, appreciate or like want the most. But I might also be just, uh, I don't know, completely wrong here. Neem, you had a takeaway ramen from Light of Lane. Oh. You think they would be soggy if you were to send them all the way to me? <laughs> well. I think so too. I think they will have to not cook it, send it, and then I will cook it. But that's then defeating the purpose of having the noodles sent to me, right? Avrax, you feel that group sessions would be great, but not as good as individual? Yeah, um, I guess like it depends on what what you're looking for because like you have also those online courses like the, um, the famous CGMA classes where they have like everyone is taking the same class and then there is um, like group coaching or sessions or lectures and stuff like that. So that got me thinking that if everyone was working on something similar, maybe that would be helpful. But yeah, I guess the only way to find out is to throw out um, the option <laughs> for it and see if anyone wants it, I guess. But the tricky part, I must say, is that I don't know how uh, one will go about and like make those things happen when it comes to like booking one-on-ones or like a schedule and how you would do that in a good way, like having a schedule available for people to book appointments in. And it feels like there is a lot of things that to figure out just when it comes to those functions and so on.
Neon, that is true. Archons are similar to group projects. That is true. Like, if everyone is working on a similar, similar thing. pinch here and see if we can make it look a little bit different maybe that's just ma making it a little bit more harsh let's see i'm gonna use the damn standard instead to see what happens abrax <laughs> Honestly, Kim, I feel like you should aim for something that isn't too hard in your schedule. That is the other, that is the other thing, I guess. Personal session are great and whatnot, but it would be hella stressful. Uh, might be stressful. That's why I would only take on a f like you know, maybe two, two or three people at the maximum at the same time. I think, maybe two. In the beginning to see uh, how it works and uh, how stressful it would be I guess <laughs> if I'm doing like individual uh, mentorship things Bag flat, so that's what's up. <laughs> you know what's best, Avrex? You just here for free knowledge and support the homies. <laughs> I wish I knew uh, what would be the best, <laughs> but I don't. I don't have the answer to everything, unfortunately. Otherwise I would have figured out my entire life by now. Neon, you know some people who do personalized session basically buys between three and nine hours where you book an hour at time whenever you sort of want when it matches schedule wise. Oh, so it's like per hour basis instead of like this amount of sessions. I guess that's uh, that's also an option. There's so many different ways of doing it. I've mostly been looking at what other patrons do, but they're like 2D artists. So I guess it's a little bit, a little bit different, but just slightly. Had a short nap, Daniel. You just woke up. <laughs> short nap after dinner. And yeah, you're on vacation now, so yes, you have uh, all the time in the world, right? The sunlight is literally on my eye. Is it? Oh well, yeah, maybe this. I can't really notice it, but I have uh, curtains up there. It might look worse though, Abarax, than, uh, than it was. I actually 
removed the um, tape and the papers I'd put up on the window temporarily. And now I have some tempor temporarily like curtains. They're supposed to be on um, like a, I, I guess like a cape. They're supposed to be long. Um, but they are on the wrong side, so I thought it would be like really long ones that you can close. But they're long on the other side, so it's actually very short. So, and I have two of them. Yeah, I, I saw wrong. So, you have... <laughs> I've been hanging them tempor temporarily like over the bar. Um, but yeah, it's the wrong model. So... I have two very short ones, but they are long on the side, so they... <laughs> yeah. Mr. Graver sings one song. It is, actually. Man, now I feel nostalgic. That was a great game to play. I spent so many hours in it. And then I never played Sims again. Hello there, Browns! How are you doing? How much time you estimate to fin before I finish the bag? Well, I have decided to finish it before uh, we start the art jam that is um, starting somewhere end of July. So that means that... Yeah, I'm gonna have to finish it within a few weeks. Which means that I'm probably not gonna be doing that like everything as I usually do on stream, well, everything. I usually have to skip out on like doing all the textures anyway, but I will probably do the boring low poly bits and pieces uh, when uh, we have art talk after the stream. Like previously I was doing the boring bits and pieces and uh, stuff on the pot diorama when we had art talks after the streaming, but now since it's completed and done, I can spend that time on uh, working on this, like, bag. Or at least uh, do, uh, like, UV and retopple and stuff like that, so. If I tried blackout curtains, Avax? I supposedly have blackout curtains in my bedroom. They are grey, so they're not black, but... They're supposed to be blackout curtains, but every day I wake up five o'clock and it's pretty damn bright in my room, so <laughs> uh, I doubt that they are black blackout curtains, but that's what the, um, the bag I bought them in said that they were, so yeah. Oh, Framer, you also only played the first one? I don't know why I never played the second one, but the first one was the one that I played and like the, the expansions for it, like some of them, I think like Vacation or whatever it was called in something with restaurants. But yeah, didn't play any more of that. If I wake up at five willingly, no. I wake up at 5 because the sun is beaming in my eye and my cat is screaming for food. It, the cat basically noticed that I'm uh, waking up because probably of the sunlight. Um, then he starts to scream for food. Uh, so, and then if it, I usually don't go up and give him food so he stops eventually but then he's... Um, then he wants attention instead and wants to be petted, so yeah. That's my five o'clock every day. Dragonfly, you have dark blue ones from IKEA, they block the sun they block the light very or pretty well. Yeah, I didn't buy these from IKEA unfortunately this time around. Maybe Maybe that's what I should have done. PM or AM? No, I wake up at 5 AM because of because of the sun. Like the sun is going up here. Uh, 
I think its rise is around 4 or 5. So it's pretty light. And it goes down around 11 p.m. tonight or something. I mean, we're pretty north. Sweden is pretty north, so... And Stockholm is not, not that bad, but if you live like all the way up in the northern part of Sweden, you are going to be having a treat in the summer because the sun is never going down. Uh, but then you have the reverse in winter when the sun is never going up instead. So it's like the internal darkness. So, yeah. And then you have Kit there. <laughs> yeah, you had a nice cat visiting you um, when I was still living in Amsterdam. So we'll do some small adjustments to this one since it's open. So it doesn't feel too stiff. Thank you for the follow. There we are, super long winters and super <laughs> and summers we have there. At least in the north. Um, I guess uh, we have it a little bit more normal here in uh, Stockholm. Hello there, uh, D3D Creative. You heard, you heard a new one. <laughs> well, welcome. some really really small silhouette adjustments I guess we can try to Break this one up a little, maybe. Hello there, Ron. How are you doing? And hello, blue fella. Bags looking. <laughs> uh, I would say it's uh, coming along for sure. I don't have that much uh, left to do. Like detailing. I guess um, some of the patterns and so on, but that's about it. The rest we will uh, texture in painter.
I'm damaging a, a little bit, or well, damaging might be the wrong word, but like nagging it up a little bit here on the sides. It's not that visible, but it will be a slight, slight change, slight bump. You're doing well, Ron. You did some work on your project today. Well, that's a good job. What, which project are you working on now? I feel like I haven't seen that much uh, from what you're doing lately. Uh, D3, be creative. You try to learn ZBrush yourself, so many functions. <laughs> I can say that a lot of people feel intimidated by ZBrush in the beginning. Just keep one thing in mind as you're asking if you have any tips for a noobs to start sculpting. What I would say to anyone who's starting with ZBrush is just don't, don't mind all the, the functions that are in here. Like, there are so many things and you will never use even half of the functions that are in ZBrush, especially if you only want to do sculpting. Um, there are some cool tricks and stuff that you can utilize, but there are also, you know, you will do well with just, I guess, using the brush and sculpt. That's what I'm doing. Uh, and whenever you need something, there's always the Inter internet that will help you answer your questions by typing it into Google. So um, it's like impossible. They they like catered for a lot of different use cases in here and for a lot of different type of artists, I would say. So you don't need to learn everything. Oh, and blue fella. <laughs> You like my ZBrush UI setup? Thank you! Another thing I was going to say is, like, don't use the standard ZBrush interface, it's confusing. Uh, use something else. Either you do your own custom one, or you find one that someone else is using. Makes it easier. So I have basically everything I need uh, in my interface. It's very seldom that I go and uh, use uh, other functions and if i do then i sometimes google to see where they are because i don't don't remember all the menus hello hello there shandon avrax it's raining and there is thunder <laughs> if your power is going to go out let's find out I read that there was someone who got like a shock from their PlayStation controller when streaming or something. I didn't read the entire thing, but that sound, uh, sounded terrifying, so... Let's hope you don't get uh, struck by lightning. You don't post that many whips? <laughs> well, I don't either, always, so that is fine. You still working on the stylized elven carriage? Oh, that one! I remember that one. You managed to get a whole thing textured the first pass. Uh, it was breaking your mind over cloth simulation the other day. <laughs> oh, cloth simulation. Are you doing some my... Um, Maya cloth simulation or a marvelous cloth simulation, perhaps? Tin spin. If you have, if uh, dice might have any old unused Maya licenses, like 2014, 2016, you've been looking around. They're hard to find. I don't think so. Like it's usually like seats that are upgraded all the time, depending on the like software i'm uh, pretty sure that most figure studios do have some kind of floating seats that are like upgraded once there is like an update to the software so they usually don't sell the licenses in that sense 
But I do remember that you asked before and like if uh, perhaps I know some older indie companies or stuff, but I, I would say that if there is anything, any company that might be buying a license, it might be um, indie companies perhaps, might be worth reaching out to um, some of them. The scariest of them all, Rome. You're using Blender Cloth Simulation. Oh well, yeah. <clears throat> it's probably one of the more scary things, because I don't know Blender. It looks cool though. It seems like they have some uh, cool sculpting uh, things for cloth in uh, Blender though. Hello there, Kay. Come, Kay. Come see, come see. Say hello to the chat, Kay. Hello. Hello. He's like, what are you doing? As per always. Why do you always have dirt in your eyes? I'm cleaning them every time. What are you doing? <laughs> Liam, the kitler too. Hello. Yeah, the the cat that was um, breaking into your apartment was also orange, but that cat had like white spots, I think, on the stomach and uh, neck. Blue fella, big boy. <laughs> well, he is a Norwegian forest cast cast cat mixed with um, Maine Coon. So he is a five and a half kilo cat. Right? Do you have hiccups? Or did you burp, Kay? I'm not sure. Which was it? Oh, oh he's wandering away. To his box. His favorite box. Abrax is part main, no wonder. <laughs> yeah, he uh, ah, always having the cat fur. He uh, is part main coon, part Norwegian forest cats, which are also pretty big, but they also have very long fur. So he had like long spots, spotting of fur here and there. It's like the ear, some of the neck, the stomach, and then you can see that it's very uneven. Like some parts he had like a little bit longer strains uh or strands i mean um and yeah i think then he's also a little bit of like some other mixed breeds but the um, yeah the people i bought him from was uh, uncertain about like um all of the other mixes but they were pretty certain like the apparently the papa cat was a main coon and the the mother cat was um, the one that was mixed between a lot of things. A litter box? No, it's a uh, cardboard box, Neum. No litter box. Why would I have a litter box next to my desk? That would not be nice. Imagine the smell already. Like from the litter box, but in here, no. No, that would be uh, suffocating. Abrax, you friend a pure red Maine Coon? It was the size of a dog, honestly spooky. I have seen uh, pictures of Maine Coon. They, they can be yeah, they're like Bengals. They can get the size of a dog, basically. It's um, if you would like to have a dog and a cat, you might as well get a Maine Coon or a Bengal. Your cat always watches. Uh... Oh, your cat is always sleeping next to you when you're at your PC, uh, Buffalo. Well, take care, Abrax. Hope that uh, 
hopefully the thunder or thunder don't take you. Stay safe. I will catch you later, Avrax. gonna continue nagging on the edges here a little bit So I'm trying to find spots where the leather is probably scraping against like sides of the bag or other parts a lot. So So I guess we are at the detailing phase now then, because I can't really see where else I will be adding stuff. Oh, it's probably just the detailing and So So this one we're going to have to make a hole for here and I think we had one that I was preparing up here as well. That we will do with, with the boolean things. I think I did a test in 
the beginning, so we only need to kind of cut that out. Which we should before we start detailing, because otherwise it's gonna be harder than that one. So, um. Uh, you say texturing painting and painter you really enjoy using designer to make textures don't know why something satisfying well making tiling textures or materials and designer is useful but if I want to go and actually texture on top of like the item I will use painter but then you can make the tiling leather material you want to use uh, in designer and then you export it into painter so it's just you know easier to do some detailing in uh, painter when you can paint on the object Ten spin you don't think in the studio can afford my house you've been looking at large studios that might have bought permanent licenses before renting became the standard if Gavrila also have seats, well, I can't really remember what license type there was there, but maybe Neum can answer if he's allowed to, that is. As he's working there still. I do think there are some uh, indie companies that have perhap perhaps bought them, but yeah, only like the bigger indie companies that have like investors and stuff, not smaller ones, I guess. I guess that's true, they probably would have a hard time affording uh, buying a license, it would be better with a seat then. And he was like, huh? What? No, we're talking about like licenses for studios and ten spinners looking to buy old licenses for Maya. Um, but most studios are using floating license nowadays. But he's looking for like older licenses like 2014, 2016 and he asked about if Gorilla maybe have like bought licenses that they don't want to have anymore and can sell and I'm like I am not sure that's better for Neum to answer so that was the story Mr. Kramer even your old school had seats I think buying licenses are very rare even five six years ago I think I think so as well, actually, not sure. They have been offering uh, floating licenses for a while now.
got a alpha with noise that I wanted to try out. So we're gonna try this displacement brush, but it might be that we have too little uh, resolution for that anyway. Yeah, that's very little. Let's see. Whoops, subdivided too high. It's also very strong. Or just a very poopy alpha that I found. Oh no, that looks horrendous. I have another noise uh, texture that I want to try. I barely did anything. <laughs> See, look at it, the details. Oh my, no. That was not really what I was looking for. I just took some random noises, but it doesn't really seem to be doing me a favor. the alpha tab and see if we have something here modify See if uh, we can do something for edge wear. When it comes to licenses and seating and everything, I mean, it changed a lot. The, um, it feels like it's been changing a lot, uh, just the um, recent... Yeah, the recent years actually. Just thinking about like all the companies that didn't offer really any subscription models before, but they see a value in doing so now, so. say that looks really bad. 
Yeah, the alpha is not really working. Oh well. We'll paint some of that in Painter instead. And then continue on uh, using regular brushes for the rest. spin you mean that they need to change their oh they need to change like to have different subscription models because computers not getting better oh because um, you don't really need to buy a new license in, in case uh, your computer can already handle it I guess I guess so. experiment a little bit with the brush to see how we're gonna make this pattern auto saving The lines, blue fella, this is when the perf perfectionism kicks in. Uh, I'm gonna see if there is a reasonable way for me to even, you know, think about <laughs> drawing the lines or if I should just admit defeat and <laughs> not try that. But we do have like the these lines here first before we have these ones and I feel like the lines we have here are even more handmade in a way. They feel a bit more bobbly, so it feels like it should be more fine, in a sense. So yeah, guess we will try and see. Otherwise, we can always use the, instead of drawing, we can actually do a boolean uh, cut here, but you know, um, not make the mesh go through. So, there's a lot of uh, 
A lot of options here. So we can always play around with this lazy mouse thing. So it takes a while for it before it uh, starts. Right. So we should have it a bit thinner. I need a longer lacy radius here. It's like when watching those uh, Photoshop uh, streams where people are uh, drawing like line line art and they're like drawing the line and then redrawing the line that's kind of how it feels like now how high poly is my mesh right now that's a good question here you have some numbers <laughs> total high def poly 0, 0.0 mil it says so i think it ran out of numbers to display oh that was also a nasty nasty line mm, almost I think I'm to um ah okay. Let's increase the radius in this lazy mouth mouse radius. There we go. Beautiful. Just missed a little bit. Perfect. Because now we also have that it feels like it's a little bit erased in the, um, in the corners. It's a little bit. Blender. Well, not everyone want to have Blender bronze. <laughs> At least I don't want to have Blender. Happy's like blender. No, but blender and all. Um, if you compare blender now to before, it seems like uh, um, a software that can compete with uh, the standard ones that are 
on the market already. So it's going to be interesting to see uh, where Blender lands. <laughs> don't be afraid child join the dark side download blender evil laughter <laughs> well someday some beautiful day or probably rainy i uh i will look at uh blender again So I guess I shouldn't draw anything on this one yet because we have this thing here that actually needs to have like a hole in it here as well. I'm gonna do a boolean on those. So we will append a cube. Pretty little cube. And we will move it so we can have it in position at least for doing the boolean cut and then I will do the boolean operation on all of the things at the same time, I guess. That needs the boolean operation. made the noise on the metal plates if it was just clay build up and smoothing or if I use something else no it's me doing slow work by um, <laughs> using trim dynamic clay build up and a lot of smooth yes exactly you could use an alpha for that as well but I think it's more fun to do it by hand We have some uh, Solar Breath of the Wild music. I 
I did not enjoy the game too too much, not compared to all the other solo games, but I'm still looking forward to the second Breath of the Wild game. Okay, so something had happened here, clearly. Oh, have this moved accidentally? Again, or... This is the old one before I started. I guess not. I mean, it is intersecting here a little bit, so... It but up here it's wrong. That's that's the wrong strap. So where is this one then? Okay, so it's both of the straps. Right. I feel like I have done something here in the files that I shouldn't have. Then move that one out. And we're also going to move No wait. Okay. No, that's all of them. So then we can We should do here transpose set. Doesn't really look like I have done any movements. I guess I just didn't look too well when I was moving the flap around, so I guess that's what we're gonna have to move. Since when you play the last the last was two and you promised yourself that would be the last AAA you buy but then you remember Breath of the Wild 2 is coming out so if, that, if it has multiplayer you're buying it so multiplayer has a big um, influence then on if you're buying games or 
Blue fella, well, thanks for popping by. Um, catch you later. Enjoy playing some games. Oh, we have a request here for music. So we're gonna listen to the one. Uh, happy send here. <laughs> Mystic Raymer, you're like, oh, unravel. I'm oh, sorry, I changed in the middle of unravel. No worries, though. I will let. I will play it again. If I said I'm moving to spin, no, I mean, <laughs> I'm gonna have to move uh, this one here. I think I uh, accidentally, like the flap here is not uh, adding up to all the other things I have uh, on this, whatever it's called, belt. So I've been moving this one around without thinking about it. Which is bad. Is it the program and music, Kramer? Oh, the weird one that we saw before. Oh, the music is good. The game was weird. If it's the, the game I'm thinking about. Other thing that Pedro plays. See what happens if I just do. Okay, so we're gonna have to move it a little bit. Okay, and then we can also move this one.
Okay, so we moved that around quite a bit. But I think it works. Just gonna have to adjust perhaps this one a little bit. Which one is this then? I think that's the one though. Right, yeah, okay. So, I'm gonna move the entire thing a little bit. Don't have that big intersection back there. So it seems like we're actually moving the inside here as well, so I'm going to fix that first. So many folders, so it's crazy. Okay, now we go again. seems fine we didn't move any unnecessary things either so that's good I'm going to save here as well again because well it seems like I'm a bit uh, messy <laughs> accidentally moving things that I shouldn't move Ron, 
if we have a music uh, reward, yeah, we have a well reward, I wouldn't say, but you can use your star power to request the uh, music. <laughs> but you must resist. You must grind 86 k more points. Wow. Well, I guess I will uh, see you in two years with those points, <laughs> Ron. <laughs> I guess you can collect points like if you're looking uh, then you have to press like a button at the same time like in the in the chat window because you've been in the stream for a while are you collecting those points as well because that's gonna take a while Okay, so my boolean, there you go. Is it this one that is not entirely right? We succeeded in the boolean operation. Whoop, whoop. So there we go, we have one. So now we need this one as well. Right, so now we have the hole. Seems like we missed a little bit here though, so we should probably... Let's try that again, do a boolean folder, and delete uh, other keyhole. Okay, now that's better.
Oh, it's the cream. It depends on how much I stream for Ron to be able to grind. I guess if I stream more often you can grind more points, that is true, wrong. But then you need to be here to grind those points as well. Hey, sh should I use uh, stream a black screen for your, you, wrong? Or like a screenshot of a ZBrush file and let it be on so you can grind the points? <laughs> so you can get uh, 1K, uh, 100k? So now we can make a boolean of this keyhole here as well. <laughs> stream past streams happy? Yeah, that worked. Point gr uh, grind streams, <laughs> reruns. You have 500 points this stream. At this rate, you will have 100, 100k in th three years. Ah, uh, yeah. Yeah, then uh, then I guess I will have to stream a bit more, otherwise it'll be three years from now. Or do I? Because I mean, then that means that I actually have to continue with my uh, Nordic uh, environment which I don't really want or do I? I don't know <laughs> oh yeah in three years it would be Unreal 5 instead of Unreal 4 that's true so it would be your face with a billion polygons so me and Roan have a bet that's what we are talking about um, I I started a environment, for those who haven't heard, like back in 2018 that I never finished and I got really sick and tired of it and don't want to do it. Um, but Ron here wants me to uh, finish that environment, so we made a bet. If we can collect 100,000k and use them uh, the points I will do it and I will also incorporate his face I will sculpt his face on the door piece for that environment. So that is the deal. So That is true then uh, Roan that <laughs> I Wouldn't even have to do a low poly and bake it if we have unreal 5 by then it would be billions of polygons on with your face on that door piece So um, Maybe we should wait three years then. Oh. I made a folder and I realized I don't really need a folder. we actually do need 
this keyhole here as well. Oh wait, that was the wrong one. Ah, so many files. I should like start um, removing uh, some of them. That is not the keyhole that I was looking for. I was looking for this. I was apparently naming the folder lock. So this one is the one I need. I'm going to move it all the way, all the way up here. Because I need both of them to be there when I'm doing the Boolean operation. This is actually the one we need. Final, final uh, underscore like four or something. Wait, does it emerge? No. That is wrong. I was going to do a Boolean folder. Did I get both holes? Okay, I did get that one and and that one. Okay, cool. Let's rename this to top uh, with holes or something like that, so we know. Okay, cool. I think that's gonna be the last thing I do today on this one uh, because I've always been streaming for two hours and it's time to go and yeah go to art talk in uh, discord and um, do some other type of work I guess see if I can start already doing some uh, retop on this guy so we speed up the process a bit um, so with that then, today I <laughs> did some surface scratches, I guess, and moved a little bit more of the final silhouette. So that means that we are now in the final detailing phase of everything. So it's like adding the crosses, adding that logo, and adding some like, I guess, edge damage uh, to things. And that's, that's it then. So. After, after we've done that, which is probably going to be next stream, then uh, we will go full speed ahead with uh, retop or UV and then texturing. So it feels nice. Starting to get there. Almost, almost. Um, so guys, thanks for uh, popping in today. 
Uh, if you're bored and you weren't here on Monday, you can always uh, check out the cake bake stream that I did uh, a few days ago, where I actually made a real cake. Uh, I was baking some cake. I've been still eating uh, part of that cake until up today, so um, yeah, it was really, really tasty. So if you're if you're bored, you can check that out. Otherwise, if you wanna join us here as our lovely mod Ron is shouting in the chat, you can join our Discord uh, for some art talks uh, now after the stream or if you just wanna hang and chill at other occasions. So I will uh, see you guys soon and thanks for being here and keeping me company and uh, talking about nuts. <laughs> I will catch you guys later. Bye-bye.